in continuation let's go with the part 4 which is a part 4 of the practical number 2 only that is server based triple a authentication now using radius protocol on r3 so like we did for tacax now we have to do it for radius so radius is a distributed client server system that secure the network against the unauthorized access okay so now let's see how to implement it on our configuration now our focus will go to the router number 3 that is r3 and let's configure the radius here and before we do that let me just give a display name to the server as a radius server so that it becomes easy for us that we are configuring the server radius here okay so let's go to the router r3 now go to cli enable it we are in side privilege mode get yourself into configuration mode conf t and we are in configuration mode let's set the username admin3 this time and the password will become admin3 pa55 enter so username has been set now before we actually start configuring router and make the service enable here we have to also make the service enable on the server first so minimize this go to the server go to services go to triple a now same way you have to configure you have to give the client name that is a host name of the router that is r3 ip address of it the router ip address was in this network in this case was 192.168.3.1 and you can decide the secret key by yourself for the radius and just remember it so while configuring router we have to mention so let me give a very simple one 1 2 3 4 5 and then click on add server type was radius now username you have to add i'll add admin3 this time you, even you can add admin2 and the password was admin3 pa55 add or you can add as many user you want to have so user 2 and the password is like cisco and then click on add make the service on now server is ready to give us the service come back to the router now let's inform the router that there is a one radius server radius enable server so radius hyphen server host is the ip address of that server so in our case the network address of this network was 192.168.3.0 one was given to the router two was given to the pc and three was given to this server so basically the host ip address will be 192.168.3.3 enter next like router should know the key so the key set by the server so radius server key was 1 2 3 4 5 okay and then click enter now enable the aaa service on this router new model then aaa the the big command now again comes into the picture that is triple a authentication through login default group there is no groups so basically default group and now authentication will be done through login like through protocol radius and if it doesn't happen then local database should authenticate the router okay if somebody tries to log in to the router if the radius server is down still they will be able to log in to the router enter let's configure the console so the use of line console 0 command is to connect a switch or a router through a medium console okay so we are configuring the line here now through which we'll be connecting the switch or router so and uh, we have to just mention login authentication 
will be default that means configuring the triple a authentication for the console login also which is triple a in our case which is default okay enter click type end and then exit so if you again go back there if you want to access a router so of course you have to enter the password like this admin 3 and then admin 3 pa double five enter so if password goes wrong so maybe like this problem occurs some character may be missing but we can try it once again you can see check so let me close this let's go to r3 again back i guess i was through basically if i again click exit so it will again ask me the username and password so admin 3 and admin 3 p a double five so valid okay so i'll s once again i'll enter admin sorry the username was a capital admin 3 a d m i n 3 p a double five and I'm through you all can see I'm able to access the router but this was a lo local now let me try to access the router through PC through this PC and the authentication part will be that taken care by radius server so let's close this let's go to PC2 uh, go to telnet SSH client in our case telnet SSH is not there so we'll use telnet just mention the IP address of the host we want to access so that's a router IP address I'm entering here trying to connect it is asking me for the username and I guess you remember that I have entered one user in the database of radius server user 2 it was and the password was Cisco and I'm able to gain gain the access of router 3 that's it that's all guys from this video. If you really like this video, press like button and do subscribe to our channel. If any queries or suggestions, do comment below. For more such updates, follow us on Instagram and Facebook.